and I want to be the first person to welcome you to Sealand's Place. Before I begin, I have to tell you one thing about these girls, and that is that you can act a lot like three-year-old kids. What I mean by that, that the trainer is going to come up here, and these girls are going to do everything the trainer asks them to do. Or, the trainer is going to come up here, and these girls are going to do whatever they want to do. So we ask you laugh and clap along with you and I have a good time and a great show. Now it's my pleasure to introduce to you the girl's best friend and the trainer, Jimmy. Hello everybody! Woo! There's one more thing we want to tell you guys about these girls <laughs> and that is that they work for two things and two things only. First one's going to come from me. Can you guys guess the first one? Yeah. Fish, food, that's right. Second one's noise. That's going to come from you guys. So if you guys see them do something you guys like, we want you guys to clap your hands, scream really loud, make a lot of noise. Show them what you like, ladies. Relax, sir. Very good. We're going to start off by introducing these girls to you. Right here we have our beautiful eight-year-old California sea lion, Avocado. Ava, can you say hi to everybody? You got a pretty smile in there? Thank you, Ava. Very nice. And right here we have our four-year-old California sea lion, Kika. Kika, can you say hi? Into the microphone. That's a nice sea lion. Hello. Thank you, Kika. Then right here we have our eight-year-old South American sea lion, Sarah. How you doing today, Sarah? Can you say hello to everybody? Hello. Very nice, Sarah. Now, Sarah, here comes to our family with a really sad story. Aww. You see, Sarah was a beach-stranded sea lion, and what that means that she was no longer capable of taking care of herself, either due to injury, illness, or maybe she was a victim of pollution. Speaking of pollution, come on up here for me, Sarah. Can you think about pollution for everybody here today? Can you think about it for us? Think about it. She's thinking hard. What do you girls think? Is pollution bad? Of course it is, yeah. Nobody likes pollution. However, sea lions all across the world do come into contact with pollution. Things that we leave behind. Soda bottles, plastic bags, things like that. These girls, they love to play with them. However, sometimes they can make a huge mistake and eat it. Sarah, we show everybody here what would happen to poor baby Sarah if you were to accidentally eat this plastic bottle. What would happen to you? Oh, no. Poor baby Sarah. And look at her friends. So sad. You're not sad, Kika? No? She's kind of mean to Kika. But don't worry, Sarah's perfectly fine. Our girls are super intelligent, and they know exactly what to do. If they find pollution in their water... Show us, Sarah. Where does that bottle go when you're done with it? We do a plastic. Where does it go? That's right, right in the recycling bin. Good job, Sarah. All right, Susie. I don't know how we're going to top that. How are we going to top a recycling sea lion? Oh, I have a great idea. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yes. How about some magic? Yeah. All right. Kika here. We're going to try with Kika. She doesn't do it very well. We're going to see how she does today. She can make her whole head disappear. But everybody has to count to three with her. Are you ready, Kika? Everybody all together. Here we go. One, two, three. All four of you that help me, thank you. The rest of you guys, wake up. Come on, help me out. Here we go. One, One two, two, three. three. Gone. Keep it there, Kika. You're giving away the magic. You guys over here, pretend you're over there. Thank you, Kika. All right, not to be undone here. Sarah here has her own magic trick. She's going to make this entire fish disappear. It's a really hard trick for her. She's been working on it her whole life. Are you ready, Sarah? Concentrate. No cheating. Ready? Abracadabra. Gone. Absolutely amazing. They, oh, my. Great magician. Terrible manners, young lady. Come on down here. Front and center. Quickly. What happens to sea lions with bad manners? That's right, with your little spanking. We're we'll gonna have to work on your manners, young lady. Now, enough of the magic tricks. When you guys came to see a sea lion show, you expect to see them bounce a ball on their nose, right? Right? Not gonna happen today. 